Hi everyone, I am Actar and welcome back for more tests on Infinite Magic Red. In this video we are gonna try the three new heroes coming this Friday in the Miracle Wishes, so let's talk about them. Ah, guys, these heroes seem so great. First of all, let's begin with this one. Let's read the skill of all heroes to see the coefficients, and then we are gonna try them. So, this is the epic unit for nail and if you have a look here basic attack 50% chance to reduce the targets attack by 40% 50% chance on the basic attack it is completely huge especially for an epic unit this is so great here as first active skill 70% chance to reduce the speed of enemies by 20% for two turns 70% an aoe speed reduction on an epic hero it's insane so great and also he's gonna Gonna deal 440% of his defense of defense damage to all enemies. So, if you build him with a lot of defense, uh, you are gonna deal a nice amount of damage using this uh, kill. This skill, pretty nice. Here on this skill, uh, if one ally shield is completely broken, he's gonna heal this ally by 11% of his max HP. One of the best heal in the game. 11% is so effective, especially if you have some healing effect on him. Really nice. And on the ultimate, yeah, he provides 40% of his max HP as a shield on all heroes for two turns. Great shield. But it's not all about the hero here. If we have a look to the exclusive, the first one, he's gonna restore all, all the lies HP by 8% of his max HP before using uh, the first active skill here so great more heals uh, here every time one shield is gonna be broken on one of your heroes he's gonna get 10% of his turn met of turn meta bonus this is so great and finally uh, on the third exclusive tenacity up 60% on all allies using the ultimate with the shield this hero is so great Okay, so I have to uh, revive my MACD. Where is MACD? Okay, so now let's have a look to Rista. Because he's really interesting too. 240% attack damage to a single enemy, 30% chance to inflict stun. And after that, your heroes with alliance is gonna pursue uh, the target and attack him. Pretty nice. Here, a first active skill. Increase the uh, attack of all heroes by 40%, grants them stealth uh, to heroes with alliance. So in fact, you have two heroes with alliance every time you have the highest attacker in your team and you have Rista. Then on the passive, at the beginning of the wave, he's gonna grant alliance on self and the ally with the highest attack. And then he is gonna uh, target another hero if someone gets more attack during uh, one turn. At his turn, I mean. And then he provides 35% more effect resistance to himself and the ally uh, with alliance. And he's gonna give 30% of his own initial attack to your uh, highest attacker. That means at the moment my Lukea normally has a 40k attack and now she has 30% um, of 30k attack so she has a 49k attack. 9k bonus with a passive. <laughs> this is so great. Really really strong. And then on the ultimate, he's gonna deal some damage to all enemies with a chance to inflict stun, 50% chance, which is pretty nice, and the stun cannot be blocked. Uh, so you still need effect hit in order to land the stun, uh, but uh, if uh, there is an Esther, for example, who protects one hero with the blue inspiration, uh, then you can still uh, apply the stun. So this hero can counter Brynhild and Esther combo. Really, really strong. And also he deals a lot of damage to bosses. Look at the coefficient here. 25% of the boss max HP in one attack and it caps at 1000% of Rister's attack. So normally he should deal a lot of damage to bosses. Because he, he it can crit. It can crit also. So I'm pretty curious about the damage he can do with that. If we have a look to the exclusives here. Uh, after using the first active skill, he's gonna get an extra turn and increase the turn meta of the hero with alliance by 30%. 30% is enormous, it's so great. 
one of the best, it's uh, turn meta boost in the game. If you have Esther, uh, she boosts by 25%, but she plays first at the beginning of the wave, of the wave so yeah, it's really broken. But if you take a space in comparison, she provides a 30% turn meta when she is exclusive 3. And this hero is gonna be great. He's gonna increase a lot the crit damage also of your hero uh, with the second exclusive here, 30% more crit damage and up to 50% if your ally is a stealth. And when the stealth expire, uh, you, your ally is gonna have powerful ally. Uh, it increases the crit damage of your hero by 50%. Uh, this is so great. Passive, more attack and more crit damage on your highest attacker. Attack bonus for 40%, uh, stealth and uh, turn meta increase, uh, pursuits. This hero is gonna be insane. In PvP for the stun also and in PvE against the bosses, the guild boss for example, especially the world boss and uh, maybe the new guild boss we are gonna have. Because if, you, if we need to have uh, three different teams to, uh, t to attack the new guild boss coming in June, uh, then he might be really, really, really nice after Ben Austin. And finally, exclusive 3, 70% chance to reduce the target's defense by 60% for 2 turns before using the ultimate, and inflicts 75% piercing rate when dealing extra damage to boss and inflicts eternal death on enemies, excluding boss, for 1 turn. Uh, eternal death uh, prevents heroes on this status to be revived. Uh, it's so, 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 so strong. So, let's have a look to the next one, Magdi. Okay, he's not gonna play. And Gru is probably gonna die. No, he's still alive. Okay, please, Magdi, play. Okay, let's have a look to his skills now. Basic attack, 60% chance to inflict one layer of poison on the one target for two turns. And restores HP of all allies by 4% of Magdi's max HP. And this is a basic attack. So, he's gonna heal a lot using the basic attack. First active skill here, grants a shield by 40% of his max HP for two turns. Great shield, uh, but he's, he's gonna be even better after that. Uh, you are gonna see. Grants all allies toxic gas here and it's an active skill. This is not a passive so uh, you can cast that. Uh, giving your heroes a toxic gas for 3 turns uh, reduces the direct damage they are gonna take by 40% and increases a poison damage dealt by 70% by your team. 70% more poison damage. Imagine using that with Nita, for example, you are gonna destroy the entire team uh, the, in front of you. This is just insane. 70% is so great. This is so great, I love that. And finally, the ultimate here, 200% attack damage to all enemies with 80% chance to inflict one poison on them for two turns. And if you can inflict poison, you inflict also deep poisoning too for two turns, increasing the poison damage by 50%. It's gonna be so great. Let's have a look to the exclusives now. Exclusive one, every time you are gonna inflict one poison on enemies, your hero who inflicts the poison is gonna get one residual poison, up to 10 layers per ally. And when he's gonna cast a toxic barrier, uh, this is this skill, then you are gonna have 4% more uh, uh, Magdi's max HP um, as a shield on your heroes for every layer of residual poison you have on all your heroes. Uh, this is so broken. If you, are, I, I think it might work only on heroes with uh, toxic bar uh, with uh, residual poison. So they need to be poison heroes. I don't think that he can uh, increase the shield of other heroes. Uh, we are gonna have a look to that right after that. Then, exclusive to every 1% mastery uh, he has increases also his shield effect and healing effect by 0.2% per mastery, up to 40%. So the more the mastery you have on this hero, the bigger the shield and the healing effect. He's gonna be so great in terms of support, I love that. And uh, while allies have toxic gas, refreshes the duration of their toxic gas if poisoning is, is inflicted successfully during the, their own turn. But in fact, uh, it has a 3 turns duration and you can uh, reuse this skill uh, when you have the cooldown, so it's pretty nice. And level 3 exclusive, Toxic Bomb, so it's uh, the ultimate, it's gonna inflict toxic imprints. Toxic Bomb, no, it's the basic attack, right? 
No, the ultimate, okay. The ultimate, you're gonna inflict toxic imprint on the target for two turns. For every one layer of poison you are gonna inflict on the target, uh, then he is gonna take 100% poison damage, and you are gonna restore your allies HP by 1% of max this max HP. Uh, so he's an awesome support and he's gonna increase so heavily the poison damage on your team. So uh, let's try the first one. Uh, I think we don't need to try Fornail because it's only a support. We already know what he does. But then we have to try the poisons and we have to try uh, this guy to uh, see the damage bonus I get on uh, Lucia or on the Lucifer. So let's do that. So, the first try, the first test I'm gonna do is with exclusive zero here, and I'm gonna change the stats on my heroes. So, uh, now I have, uh, let's say I have 30k uh, attack on this hero, full HP and defense, so I can't, uh, I can't take too much damage. I have a lot of resistance, so I won't be frozen by enemies. I'm, I'm gonna put 2200 speed because it's a support, and uh, here I don't need that much. Uh, if effect hit, I need some on him, so let's say I have 100 because it's important and here let's say I have 30% mastery this it, it doesn't really matter in fact uh, so I think that's all for this hero and then on Lucifer I want uh, 1700 speed uh, it's a DPS on which I would have to have 42k attack something like that with 70% crit rate uh, you want 260% crit damage something like that you don't need to have some effect hit on him, so in fact 20% uh, it's normal. Uh, here you don't need any mastery. And uh, effect resistance, I'm gonna put that to the maximum, so I won't get frozen by enemies. So I'm gonna restart with these stats. Okay, so here we are, exclusive zero um, Rista, and we are gonna see the the potential of these heroes. So first of all, the th first thing you want to do on the battle normally is to increase the attack and the stealth of Lucifer. So let's put that. Now I have a 40 uh, k 40 percent more attack, and also I have 90 k attack given by Alliance here because it's a 30 percent of the attack of Rista, and he has 42 k. Okay. The stats are bad. Oh no, it's normal. It's normal. Yeah, it's normal because he has the attack buff. So normally he had 30k attack, and so he gives 9k to my Lucifer, and now my Lucifer has 70, 67k, 800 with the the attack buff also. So now let's put that on this hero. Let's make a pursuit, and now enemies are playing before me. He removed my stealth, okay, so now I won't have the bonus in damage, and so, yeah, crit ray, crit damage. So, this is the damage here, 5700. Now, let's see with the first exclusive. You're gonna see that it's gonna change a lot of things. The first one is really important. So now, uh, I'm gonna do that, so I'm gonna give 30% turn meta boost to uh, Lucifer and increase his attack. Get an extra turn so I can do a pursuit on the first turn. Great. Now I play with Lucifer, Feebleness, I redo another pursuit and I'm gonna use the ultimate. And if we check the damage now, 8,900k which is pretty pretty strong huge difference with the first exclusive also if you want you can play the uh, f differently with the hero for example you're using that and let's say you want to stun enemies if you are in pvp for example you want to do that uh, and you stun enemies then you can play and uh, deal some damage uh, then you take the turn pursuit etc deal that your damage was still pretty nice though, 7 million, but on the first turn you stunned the enemies, so it's pretty nice. Okay, so then let's try with the second exclusive here. So normally I will have more crit damage on Lucifer. Uh, so he has alliance, if we have a look here to the exclusive 2, uh, normally my hero is stealth, so he's gonna get 50% more crit damage. So let's check that. If I go on my Lucifer, it's not written here, but it's taken into consideration. Uh, if we have a look there, for example, if I'm using a Pursuit, he deals more damage on each stages uh, than before. Here, uh, you, you're gonna see Basic Attack and Ultimate. Before we had 8,900k and now we are, we are at 10, 10 million. So yeah, it's increasing a lot. 
then the third exclusive won't make a huge difference though because it's going to be applied on bosses only. Uh, here, if you have a look to this skill, 240% uh, attack damage to all enemies and then it's going to deal an extra stage on bosses only, I think. 25% uh, of the boss max HP caps at 1000% of Rista's attack, which is a lot. Uh, if I do that, th is, there is going to be only one stage of attack. So it's working only against bosses. And the uh, exclusive 3 on Rista increases just the damage he's going to deal with this, uh, with this attack. And also he's going to provide the defense down. Yeah, 60% defense down, 70% chance to apply that. So against the boss, it's going to be great. Also because he's going to inflict some uh, piercing rate when he's going to attack here with this attack on the boss. 75% ignoring the defense. Uh, this is gonna be great. The damage on this skill as once exclusive 3 are gonna be really really strong. And also you are gonna provide the defense down used for your uh, Lucifer. It's gonna increase a lot his damage. So it's gonna be really really strong. Defense down. Pretty nice. Now you can deal your damage. Let's make a pursuit here and let's see the damage in comparison. Um, we have just a bit less than 10 million. We have the same as before on the previous test, on the first try, um, first exclusive I mean, 8,800k. But now the defense of the enemy is broken. If you're using a shield smash aura on Lucifer, you're gonna increase more your piercing rate and so you're gonna ignore a part of the defense lowered on the on the boss and so normally the damage are gonna be way better. Because now the defense is down so you can make your pursuit and deal more damage with Lucifer so uh, normally the damage are gonna be increased a lot. And also he can um, uh, get some extra turns and so get the cooldowns back here really fast and increase a lot the turn meta of Lucifer and so it's pretty strong in all content in the game. Your Lucifer will play more often and the damage he's gonna deal are gonna scale uh, really fast. Pretty strong unit. I love him and I want uh, him in priority. He, he looks so great. But let's try something else now. Uh, let's say in front of me I want Brynhild and Luna. I'm gonna change their stats. So um, if you go on the hero trial, if you are not clicking on every hero in the uh, hero in the stats management here, if you check that and restart, then you are gonna lose the stats you set uh, you set up on your heroes. Uh, you haven't clicked on. I don't know why it's designed this way, but it is, so it's a bit annoying. But yeah, so let's put that on her and uh, let's retry. Normally, I'm gonna keep my stats. Yeah, that's the case. So she plays first, and now I want to increase, uh, let's say I want to increase, how much resistance? 100% resistance. So let's try to stun. Normally the stun can uh, work, uh, can be applied through the buff here to block debuffs. And uh, let's try. Yeah, as you can see, it worked. And uh, it's pretty strong because Pauline, for example, can uh, can uh, apply the resistance to the block debuff and so if you are using that it's gonna be really really strong in PvP but there is still an issue and I think you know what am I talking about if you are taking Esther for example it's an immunity to control and so it's over the uh, block debuff that means the stun can't be blocked by the block debuff but the immune will immune bring heal to the stun here and this is really really annoying so for the test here i'm going to increase my effect hit to the maximum here and you are going to see that she can't be um, stunned when she has the blue inspiration given by esther this is why esther is still uh, one of the big uh, biggest broken hero in the game can't be blocked but if you are using Rista, you can do something different. Because it's increasing a lot of the damage on my Lucifer, and so if I adjust the stat correctly here, normally you have a big, way, a super, super big brain healed, uh, such as that with 1 million HP in a uh, classic arena. Uh, you have normally a lot of crit rates, let's say 100%, and normally you have something around 260% crit damage with something like that 
and the 30k attack, but it doesn't really matter to have some attack here. This is a big brain heal, and you can have that normally in dungeons, in PvP, sorry. So let's retry that, and let's see if I can deal some damage with my Lucifer here. So let's use that so I can get more attack. Let's make a pursuit here. A feebleness. Let's do that again. Oh, by the way, here, normally I can control her after. And look at the damage. It's pretty nice, though, using a Lucifer on a Brin Hill with heavy uh, defense stats. Uh, I w I'm going to retry that. You're going to see what I mean. If she has the blue inspiration, you can't stun her on the first turn. But if she plays, and if Esther plays again, then you will be able to, uh, to do that. So, for example, if I'm using that here, I'm going to pursue Esther, uh, Feebleness here, why not? And now she has the red inspiration, so if I'm doing that, normally I can control her. Stun. No? Uh, okay, why is she not stunned? Normally she doesn't have the blue inspiration anymore. Uh, let's check. Nope, when inflicted with control effects, there is a chance to be immune to them. This is... Increases Lich. She has two Inspiration now? It seems weird. Let's check. Let me check. Uh, normally here... I think it is, it's on an exclusive, right? Here. Uh, increase the owners, okay. The initial tap of inspiration will remain for three turns. No, it remains for three turns because she opened with the blue inspiration. So in fact, you have to wait uh, three turns in order to make that work. But normally, defense down two, feebleness two. I have m big stats on Lucifer thanks to Rister. And so, one shot. So it's working. It's working. So, Rister is MVP for PvP. He's gonna be so great and for bosses also he's gonna be really interesting. So now let's exit that and let's try uh, the other one. So Nameless Brotherhood, it's Magdi here. Let's go on the trial and let's go his uh, to tr let's test his potential with Nita. Uh, so if I go on the team settings here, I want to put Nita also zero exclusives on him to try uh, at the beginning. To begin the try uh, the trial I mean here I want to increase the stats it's normally it's a, a support so you want to have something around let's say 37k and here 30k defense here yeah let's put the maximum here it doesn't really matter for this kind of test we want to try the GPS uh, you want to have 80% or 100% here yeah, that and 130% mastery. This is the stats you want to have on him. I'm going to increase the effect resistance so I'm not getting frozen. Same on her. Full resistance. I'm going to put... This is a DPS. You want to have some attack on her. So let's say I have 40k here. 30... Uh, uh, yeah, maximum here. Um, 100 percent effect hit and 130 here. And 1700 here and let's retry so first of all i'm not going to use his skills we are going to compare the damage of nita without him and with him so let's put a basic attack here uh, poisons on everyone let's redo that and let's do one more time the, the first time the basic attack the, the the first active skill let's check the damage 8 million 600k almost 8 million 700 so this time I'm going to re uh, restart the battle and I'm going to use the buffs. So, let's begin with this one. It's an active skill. It's going to put toxic gas, increasing my uh, d poison damage by 70%. And you're going to see that it's a lot. And reduce the direct damage taken by 40% by my allies. Uh, so, this is the buff. I'm doing the same as before. I am also going to do that, so it's going to put deep poisoning too on enemies if I am uh, lucky enough to put a poison on them. Perfect. And now I'm going to launch the first active skill and we are going to check the damage. 14 million. 
6 million more damage than before, almost, around that. This is insane. Imagine having that in dungeons, for example. You, the damage you're gonna deal with poise, a poison team is gonna be insane. And remember that this hero can also heal a lot using the basic attack, apply a huge shield here, and we are gonna try the shield also. And uh, reduce the damage you're gonna take as, you, as if you had a consolidation. <laughs> this hero is so great. So, uh, let's put the shield, and then we are gonna try with exclusive one. Shield without exclusive one, 40% of his max HP, it's uh, right here, okay? That's 40%. Now, let's put the first exclusive on him, and let's retry the shield. Uh, every time your heroes are gonna inflict a poison on enemies, they are gonna get a residual poison on them. Uh, for each layer of residual poison, it's gonna increase the shield given by this hero by 4%. Up to 10 layers, so up to 40%. So, let's do that. First of all, I want to inflict some poisons. As you can see with the passive, I inflicted 5 poisons on enemies, and so I have 5 layers of residual poison. So, if I'm doing that, I'm gonna uh, reach 10 layers. And if I'm going, if I'm doing that, He's not gonna get bonuses in shield because he has no layer of residual poison for now. But Nita has 10, so she's gonna have 40% more shield. So in fact, a shield of 80% of his max HP. This is insane. This is insane. Look at the, the strength of the shield. Right here, it's doubled with only one hero. 80% shield on him. Is the biggest shield in the game. Nita provides a, a 60%, uh, Catherine provides 60% HP uh, as a shield. This is insane, this is so great. But it's not all, because if you have the exclusive 2, the shield is gonna be even better. <laughs> if you have a look here, it's gonna be the best support in the game for dungeons, uh, the best shielder in the game. And he provides a ton of Poisons, etc. So it's gonna allow uh, you to reduce the damage of the boss. For every 1% mastery you have on him, it's gonna additionally increase by 0.2% the shield effect and the healing effect. In fact, if you have 200% mastery on him, you are gonna have the 40% maximum here. Uh, but 200% is not achievable or not really clearly not really easy to achieve so in fact if you have 100% mastery on him you are gonna get the, the half value here 20% more shield effect and I have 130% mastery on my test so if I do that uh, first of all I'm gonna do that we are gonna accumulate the, the two things exclusive one and exclusive two so now if I apply that look at the shield strength here normally the uh, it's gonna be more than a half Look at that, more than half. I have more than 80% shield on her. I have a 100% shield, something like that. No, it's not exactly that because it's 20% uh, more shield effect. And if you couple that with the emblems to increase the, the strength of the shields, uh, the shield is gonna be un unkillable, unkillable. So great, <laughs> he's so broken. Uh, so now let's check the exclusive three. So here I am on the exclusive 3 uh, and if we have a look here, uh, there is a problem, the, the description issue here, I don't know if it's a description issue or a skill issue, but it's written toxic bomb inflicts toxic in print, but in fact toxic bomb is the ultimate but it's inflicting the debuff on the basic attack, so there is a, an issue somewhere uh, here. Uh, every time the target, if the target has toxic imprint on him, every time you're gonna inflict a poison on the target, he's gonna deal, uh, he's gonna take 100% poison damage on him, and it's gonna heal 1% of Magdi's max HP to all your heroes, and you're gonna see that this is pretty strong. Uh, for example, if I do that here, as you can see, this is a basic attack, and I inflicted, inflicted toxic imprint. So, every time this hero is gonna take a poison, uh, he's gonna also take 100% poison damage. Scaling, I think, on this hero damage. Look at that. 85k more damage, bonus damage. So great. Let me check if I do a basic attack on him, how much damage I will have. 85. Yeah, so it's it's scaling on his own mastery and attack. It's really strong, though. 
Imagine having that with a counter attack, for example, or uh, you, you always have that debuff on the enemy, and if you are playing ton of poisons with counter attack pursuit, you are gonna inflict so much damage to the enemies, it's so powerful damage here. Yeah. I love that so much. So, both new legendary heroes are really awesome. I want them both. I have a small preference for uh, the other one, but this one is broken, so no. I, you know what? In fact, they are both the, at the same level. They are game-changing units, I think. Game-changer units. I love them a lot. I want them both. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think about that in the comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And then see you in the next one. Bye-bye.